Okay, here we are. It is time for a blessing, Sassy. This is the parish mascot, Sassy. Very popular, more popular than I am. Hi, Lola. This is Father Tom. And uh, your daughter, about a couple weeks ago, sent a message through Facebook that she wanted me to give you a blessing on the occasion of your birthday. And, uh, you know, the church is all about blessings, blessing people and things and events. And we have the big book of blessings. We have a, a Catholic household blessings and prayers. And today is the birthday of Mary. And I was rem reminded uh, on, today on Mary's birthday of a little note that I had here on my desk. That, um, of course, today being Tuesday is my day off. I'm not in clerics. I'm wearing blue for Mary. Uh, and uh, I, I was reminded that it's your birthday coming up on the 15th. So, uh, happy birthday. Well, uh, really, uh, in the Book of Blessings, there's a blessing for uh, mothers before childbirth. And there's a blessing uh, for mothers after childbirth, uh, there's a blessing for parents um, and for adopted parents. Uh, there's an order of blessing on the occasion of a birthday. There we go. I can go to that formal blessing, uh, 140. And I also looked in the household uh, blessings and prayers where there's a blessing for birthdays. So, there's all kinds of blessings. There's even blessing for fishing equipment in here. Uh, if you have a uh, hankering to take a fishing pole and put it out in the pond, uh, you can bless the occasion with that. So, uh, so anyhow, when I, as a priest, of course, when I do priestly things, I give blessings. I usually wear a stole, and I have my soles up here. Lots of different sizes of stoles. I even have Pope Francis. Here's Pope Francis. He can give you a blessing, right? There we go. Here's my stole. And, uh, Sassy, are you a blessing? Huh? <laughs> well, 95 years is certainly a blessing. I don't know if these masks are any blessings or not, but maybe we'll be thankful that we don't have to wear the mask anymore after we're done with this pandemic stuff. So let's pray in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God who loves you and fills you with life and joy be always with you. Each year as we celebrate another birthday, we recall the gift of life which we have received from God. And today we give thanks for the 95 years of Lola's life, fullness of faith and enriched by God's love. And we ask a blessing upon her in a very, very special way this day. We hear from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians he says in chapter 1, verses 3 to 11, I give thanks to God at every remembrance of you, praying always with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right that I should think this way about all of you, because I hold you in my heart. You, who are all partners with me in grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, for God is my witness, how I long, 
for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, this sacred scripture reading is very much um, appropriate for this occasion of the blessing uh, because it, it speaks well of, of how we grow in grace as we advance uh, in years and God's spirit is with us through the journey, filling us with hopefully the fruit of righteousness that comes to us in Christ Jesus. Why? For his praise and his glory. And may Almighty God bless you, Lola, and all of your family that are gathered with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good celebration.